Welcome to Creative Biolabs. Oligonucleotides are nucleic acid polymers with potential to treat or manage a wide range of diseases. Oligonucleotide-based therapeutics employ chemically synthesized oligonucleotides with single-stranded DNA or RNA backbone of specific potential. These agents can inhibit gene expression or impede protein function by binding to the specific sequence of a target gene or protein. Therefore, oligonucleotide-based therapeutics have high specificities toward target molecules that were not observed in conventional drugs, such as mRNA or non-coding RNA, advancing drug development for cancers and genetic therapeutics. As a result, oligonucleotide-based therapy can be classified as gene therapy. Here, we will discuss the different types of oligonucleotide-based therapies and some featured solutions provided by Creative Biolabs. In this presentation, we will go through the following topics. Classifications of therapeutic oligonucleotides. Mechanisms of action of therapeutic oligonucleotides. Chemical modifications used in oligonucleotide drugs. Oligonucleotide delivery strategies. Approved oligonucleotide drugs. Oligonucleotide therapeutics in clinical development. Creative Biolabs featured therapeutic oligonucleotide solutions. Oligonucleotides are involved in many types of nucleic acid-based therapeutics, including antisense oligonucleotide, agomir, antagomir, aptamer, gapmer, small interfering RNA, and unmethylated CPG-containing oligonucleotides. Antisense oligonucleotides, or ASOs, are short, synthetic, chemically modified chains of nucleotides that can potentially target any gene sequence of interest. Typically, ASO is a single-stranded DNA or RNA that complementary binds to a target mRNA sequence within the cell. A GOMIR is a double-stranded RNA and regulates the target gene's biological function by mimicking endogenous microRNAs that target mRNA. Agomir is also classified as mRNA-mimicking ASO. Antagomir, with a design based on the mature microRNA sequence, is single-stranded and is specially developed to inhibit the expression of endogenous microRNA. Antagomir is also known as antimiRNA ASO. Aptamer is single-stranded DNA or RNA with a length between 20 to 100 nucleotides, which adopts a three-dimensional structure that allows it to bind to protein target sites with high specificity. Gapmers are single-stranded short DNA antisense oligonucleotide structures with RNA-like segments on both terminus of the sequence. These linear pieces of genetic information are designed to hybridize into a target piece of mRNA. GAPMER is also classified as an optimized form of ASO. The next one, small interfering RNA, or CERNA, is a class of double-stranded RNA at first non-coding RNA molecules, typically 20 to 24 base pairs in length. It interferes with specific genes' expression with complementary nucleotide sequences. CPG-containing oligonucleotides are commonly a short synthetic single-stranded DNA molecules containing CPG motifs. They stimulate cells bearing TLR9 to activate innate immune responses. Next, let's explore the mechanisms of action of these therapeutic oligonucleotides. As shown here, the gene silencing action mechanism of GAPMER relies on cleavage or degradation through the action of RNase H in cytosol and nucleus. The binding of GAPMER to the target mRNA has a higher affinity due to the modified RNA flanking regions, as well as resistance to degradation by nucleases. For aptamers, they fold into defined architectures and bind to targets such as proteins. After binding to proteins, they often inhibit protein-protein interactions and thereby may elicit therapeutic effects such as antagonism. Since binding to the appropriate target cell surface can lead to internalization, aptamers can also be used to deliver therapeutic cargos such as small interfering RNA. Antisense oligonucleotides complementary to target RNA were first utilized therapeutically by exploiting RNase-H cleavage of DNA, RNA hybrids. 
Fully modified second and third generation ASO chemistries act through RNase H independent mechanisms. Steric blocking ASOs can inhibit or activate translation by binding to regulatory elements, and modulation of pre mRNA splicing is a common therapeutic modality. ASOs can also sterically block the union of RNA binding factors to repeat expansion regions of pathogenic mRNAs. Unmethylated CPG containing oligonucleotides include a cytosine guanine motif coupled with a phosphodiester or phosphorothiote backbone. Unmethylated CPG motifs are commonly found in bacterial DNA and activate the immune system through toll-like receptor 9. Antagomeres are microRNA inhibitors. MicroRNAs are small single-stranded non-coding RNA molecules containing approximately 22 nucleotides, and they function in RNA silencing and post-transcriptional regulation during gene expression. Due to the promiscuity of microRNAs, antagomeres could affect the regulation of different mRNA molecules. Agomir is a chemically modified microRNA that can mimic the mature endogenous microRNA after cell transfection. It utilizes the natural microRNA machinery and upregulates endogenous microRNA activity, usually translational inhibition. In terms of CERNA, once CERNA enters the cell, it incorporates with other proteins to form the RNA-induced silencing complex or RISC. Upon forming the RISC complex, CERNA unfolds to form a single-stranded CERNA and scan to define the complementary mRNA. Subsequently, the single-stranded CERNA binds to its complementary mRNA and induces mRNA degradation, thus silencing gene expression of the particular mRNA. One of the biggest challenges in oligonucleotide drug development is the optimization of chemical architectures to ensure long-term safety and enable robust clinical activity beyond livers, especially for RNA-based oligonucleotide drugs. In order to achieve optimized clinical productivity, modifications can be made to the backbone, nucleobase, ribose, and terminal of oligonucleotide drugs to enhance the stability of chemical architecture. Modifications for oligonucleotide drugs mainly focus on increasing the binding affinity, nuclease resistance, specificity, cellular uptake, and bioavailability, as well as reducing related immunogenicity and cytotoxicity. However, these chemical modifications have also revealed certain limitations or disadvantages, such as application restriction to certain oligonucleotides and biodistribution limitations to specific organs. Thus, the combination of these chemical modifications is usually required for oligonucleotide drug optimization. Notably, limited data are reported for certain novel modification strategies, and further preclinical and clinical studies are needed to accelerate their applications. Oligonucleotide drugs' unique biochemical properties determine the absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion, and toxicity differences compared with conventional small molecule chemicals or macromolecular biologics, such as antibodies. Effective delivery of oligonucleotide drugs to their intracellular sites remains a major task. Various approaches have been developed and applied in clinical to enhance oligonucleotide's delivery, such as conjugating oligonucleotide with galanac, peptide, or lipid, and using carriers such as lipid particles and exosomes. Current strategies for oligonucleotide delivery enhancement mainly focus on its bioconjugation and carriers. Oligonucleotides can be conjugated with lipid, galanac, peptide, antibody, aptamer, and receptor ligand. For example, galanac oligonucleotide conjugate has revealed high potential in liver silencing, a smaller molecule size compares to nanoparticle complex, a well-defined chemical composition, and a cost-effective synthetic route. In terms of carrier optimizations, lipid nanoparticles, spherical nucleic acids, DNA nanostructures, and exosomes have been reported. The most frequently used lipid nanoparticles have demonstrated high structural integrity during storage, high serum stability, and highly efficient encapsulation, although they are limited to the reticuloendothelial system and liver delivery. 
From the first approved ASO drug Fomiversin in 1998, to the latest approved Casimersin in 2021, 15 oligonucleotide drugs have been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the European Medicines Agency. Most of them are ASOs, with four of which are designed to treat Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The target tissues for these approved nucleic acid medicines span a variety of organs, including the liver, central nervous system, and skeletal muscles, which differ significantly in their biology and ease of access from the systemic circulation. This slide presented the chemistry diagrams of approved oligonucleotide drugs. Nucleobase sequences, base pairs, chemical modifications, and high-order structures are shown. This slide revealed the list of selected oligonucleotide therapeutics that are under current clinical development. Data are collected from clinicaltrials.gov website. According to the early 2022 data, over 100 oligonucleotide therapeutics are under clinical evaluation for various indications, from rare genetic diseases that affect a few patients to cardiovascular diseases that affect millions of patients. Nevertheless, most of these oligonucleotide therapeutics are based on ASO and CERNA, and many of them are ongoing phase 3 clinical trials and are promising to be approved in the near future. With years of experience in providing one-stop preclinical development services, Creative Biolabs has built a team of solid knowledge in oligonucleotide-based gene therapies, and we are fully competent in providing services for our clients. Our featured therapeutic oligonucleotide solutions include, but are not limited to custom oligonucleotide synthesis, custom oligonucleotide conjugation and modification, custom shRNA lentivirus and shRNA library, CERNA and ASO in vitro screening, delivery method development for RNAi, as well as oligonucleotide drug DMPK and toxicity assessment. For more details regarding Creative Biolabs Therapeutic Oligonucleotide Solutions and other gene therapy development services and products, please visit our website or contact us directly.